In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, God's good people, and welcome. It is Catholic Meditation, today Friday, the 7th of February, 2020. I am Father Blessed. Thanks for joining us. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, Sirach chapter 47, verses 2 to 13. Gospel, Mark chapter 6, verses 14 to 29. I read from the Gospel. At that time, King Herod heard of Jesus, for his name had become known. Some said, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead. That is why miraculous powers are at work in him. But others said, it is Elijah. And others said, it is a prophet like one of the prophets of old. But when Herod heard of it, he said, John, whom I beheaded, has been raised. For Herod had sent and seized John and bound him in prison for the sake of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because he had married her. For John said to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. And Herodias had a grudge against him and wanted to kill him. But she could not, for Herod feared John, knowing that he was a righteous and holy man and kept him safe. When he heard him, he was much perplexed, yet he heard him gladly. But an opportunity came when Herod on his birthday gave a banquet for his courtiers and officers and the leading men of Galilee. For when Herodias' daughter came in and danced, she so pleased Herod and his guests, and the king said to the girl, Ask me for whatever you wish, and I will grant it. And he vowed to her, Whatever you ask me, I will give you even half of my kingdom. And she went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask? And she said, The head of John the Baptist. And she came in immediately with haste to the king and asked, saying, I want you to give me at once the head of John the Baptist, here now on a dish. And the king was exceedingly sorry, but because of his oaths and his guests, he did not want to break his word to her. And immediately the king sent a soldier of the guard and gave orders to bring John's head in. He went and beheaded him in prison and brought his head on a platter and gave it to the girl. And the girl gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard of it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift up holy hands in one accord. Sing, blessed be the name. Blessed. Do not allow yourself be used by others. Do not allow yourself be used by others. Dear friends in Christ, our gospel passage recounts the gruesome murder of John the Baptist. 
he is decapitated in prison. He had been imprisoned by Herod because of the truth he spoke. He stood on their way against him marrying Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip. It was wrong, John the Baptist told him. It was against the law. Herod intended to imprison John only to silence him. Short run effect and later perhaps release him. Why, we are told, despite the truth that John spoke that disturbed him, he did not like to hear, however, he had great respect for John because he was a righteous and holy man. For Herodias, however, she had John the Baptist in her heart and sought a long-run effect and permanent solution once for all because we are told she had a grudge for him. Her plan could not, however, be effected because of her husband, whom she feared. If she had the opportunity, she would have eliminated John. That opportunity, however, showed up as recounted by today's passage. Herod's birthday. It was his birthday, and at a banquet at the royal court, in the presence of Herod and his nobles, courtiers and officers, his daughter so nicely danced that she delighted her father, the king, who promised to give her a gift. It was a blank check. Anything she asked for would be hers. Let us focus on the gift she asked for. Her father had promised anything, just anything, even half his kingdom. Excited and perhaps confused, she ran to her mother and sought advice from her. I guess she was at a loss about what to ask. Imagine such a blank check. She therefore needed motherly counsel. One would have expected her, that is her mother Herodias, to tell the girl to ask for perhaps a car, perhaps a trip abroad, a party with her friends, a holiday to a beautiful touristic country or city. Some new clothes or shoes, what have you? But no, not even did she return to accept her father's offer, which was half his kingdom. Rather, on her mother's influence and request, she asked for the head of John the Baptist. Such a gift. What a gift that even shocked the king. Was it a bad thing to offer his daughter a gift? Was it bad to ask her to choose? Was it bad to give her an open offer? Not at all. Therefore, blame goes to the sort of influence her mother had on her and for the little girl who allowed herself to be used by her mother. Dear friends, be careful the kinds of people from whom you seek advice or counsel. I tell you, there are some who would advise you to ask for the head of John the Baptist. Some will know the right road, but will show you the wrong one. Perhaps because they do not want you to succeed, or perhaps because they want to use you to achieve their evil plans. The head of John the Baptist. What a request for a gift. How was the head to be of any good or help to her? What did she even do with the head at the end? The girl was old enough to ask her mother, but why? Of what use? Why would you want the head of John the Baptist? No, she did not ask. So we see that at the end, she has no gift. She danced. The offer was made to her. But her mother has received the gift. Let's put the gift in quotes, if at all it was a gift. She has just had her plans finally achieved through her daughter. A plan she had nursed. Remember? She had long ago wanted the death of John the Baptist, but had no means. Now, her daughter has been the means. She has used her. Beloved, be careful. Be attentive. Some nurse and have evil plans and designs. They just need someone to use to carry out and achieve their plan. Do not accept to be used. To be used here means do not allow yourself to be a means or a route for someone 
or some people to achieve their desires. Do not be a Herod's daughter that someone tells you to kill and you just go and kill without asking why, of what use. Someone tells you to go ask for the head of John the Baptist and you just go and do that. Are you that gullible? Are you that cheap? Can't you think and control yourself that someone else uses you as a weapon to achieve their evil plans? And just how many have let themselves be used that way? It is also a warning call to the likes of Herodias who want others' heads but use others to do so either by paying them, sweet-tonguing them, cajoling or coercing them to do that act. Do not involve others in your dirty schemes. Let us pray for all those who have been killed. Let us pray for all those who have been used, that God may forgive and that they may find the courage to recount whenever someone wants to use them to achieve their evil plans. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come on you and remain with you forever. Amen.